What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donicky, and it's been a good while since we last talked together, you and me. Um, it's been about three weeks actually, I think, since the last UBL game, so I'm sorry I've been absent for so long, but we're gonna start seeing some consistency, I guess. Um, moving forward now, UBL game will should have been up today as well, but this is the team builder section for my match uh, versus Adam, the bee's knees, coach of the Houston Soul Rockets. You can see the drafts on your screen right now. You see uh, my draft with Zygarde 50, Mega Sis with Manaphy, Hoopon Bound, Shaman, Rabombi, Mega, uh, Rotom Heat, uh, Miltank, Frostlass, Kabutops, and Girder. Don't ask how I got it. Ask the NPL. Uh, but you see also Adam's draft consists of a Megalopla, Cephalon Superior, which I all expect him to bring, the Klefki, Hippowdon, Toxapex, just some fat, Mesprit, Dragonite, Electivire, Vullaby, and Regirock. So... The team that I've decided to prep uh, for Adam is uh, right here, and um, what is this set you're currently looking at? Well, let me tell you, dear viewer. Uh, first of all, uh, this speed is so that after Dragon Dance, I outspeed a Megalop. Uh, the defense and HP is so that I can take like Fake Out Ice Punch uh, from Lop. Uh, I'm Leftovers Bulky Build, SD, or Double Dance Sub Thousand Arrows, because, well, look at his team. Uh, disregard the superior, which doesn't really take hits well to begin with, and now look at Thousand Arrows. Do you see a... do you see consistent switch-ins? I... cause I sure as hell don't. So, a uh, Double Dance, uh, Mono, Thousand Arrows, Zygarde was just the way to go this week. It looked like a really solid set, and I hope it works out well. Uh, the next set that I decided to bring here is my good pal Miyochi, known as the Rabambi on my team. It's a Life Orb Quiver Dance set with Energy Ball, Moonblast, and Hidden Power Ground. Moonblast pretty much hits the entirety of his team. You got the Megalop, uh, you got the Superior, you got the Poudon. Hippowdon is also for the, uh, is also the Energy Ball. Uh, Toxapex, uh, not really. Mesprit, uh, Dragonite, Electivire, Volibi, Rudrock. Uh, what does Energy Ball hit? Well, you have, um, the Hippowdon. It's neutral on the Toxapex. Uh, you also have the Reggie Rock, which gets body by the one, one of the like just for example, and then you got Hidden Power Ground, which also does well for the uh, Klefki, the Toxapex, and uh, also the Reggie Rock if I expect him to bring that. So very simple, very straightforward set. 358. Make sure that I outspeed a. Um, I think I set my goals on Serp, which is 357. Could be wrong on that, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I have to be max speed superior. And uh, that being said, no, it's not superior, it's something past 110, and yeah, it's, it is superior, superior is like 113. Um, next mod on my team is uh, my good pal known as Harris is awesome, uh, pretty good pal, just a fully physically defensive set with a Choppleberry, Thunder Wave, Milk Drink, Seismic Toss, and Stealth Rocks. Yes, this set gets walled by Blacephalon, but it's not meant to 1v1 to Blacephalon. I can Thunder Wave it, and then I can get out of there. As you see, the next two Pokemon on my team, they are water types. The first Pokemon on my team has a thousand arrows, and if I slow down his entire team, then, I mean, <laughs> there's T-Wave chance, there are para chances, and my team also, like, kind of runs through him at that point if things get slowed down. So, that is the Mill Tank. Pretty, very straightforward set, but that is what I decided to bring uh, this time around. The next set I have here today, this was not named at the time, it has gotten a name now. Uh, for future battles, you will see Tom Z, the Kabutops, holding the Hard Stone with the Swift Swim ability. It has the moves Stone Edge, Sword Stance, Aqua Jet, and Liquidation. It has enough speed to outspeed everything on his team, including Scarfers at plus two. Um, I have Stone Edge because, as you see, his team doesn't have a lot of switch-ins to Dual Stab, and Stone Edge with the Hard Stone just increased my chances of getting stronger stone edges, which also has a high crit ratio, as you guys know. So that is very simple, the um, Kabutops set I decided on for this week. Uh, next set I have here is a modest Manaphy, that, which supposedly outspeeds everything that isn't a uh, Scar- Oh, which outspeeds, I think, Lop, yep. Outspeeds Lop after a Z Rain Dance. It's a very slow Manaphy, bulky, uh, with modest, because once I get that, if I can get Rain Dance and Tail Glow off against Adam's team, there isn't exactly a lot that is going to stay alive. Um, so hopefully this Manaphy works out this time around. Um, but I'd say other than that, it's a pretty straightforward team. We got a lot of help. This set in particular was helped. Uh, was I got a lot of help from uh, my good pal Burb to build. As you can see, literally in between the drafts right there is uh, TTM Burb Tales. He uh, helped me build this team. So the um, the Manaphy set is a little bit something I need to uh, like learn. But uh, I... 
Then we got Girder. My good pal Girder, which uh, I think will be named Dubious after my good pal Deebs in the future weeks. So we got a uh, physical defensive bulk up set with Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Knock Off, and Bulk Up. So pretty pretty simple what this thing plans to do. If you can get in on something, try to get a bulk up or two up and then start Drain Punching and knocking off items and just being like a nuisance for, uh, you know, just being like that little boy that could. But yeah, that is the team builder portion. If you want me to go more in depth or anything like that and not to like spend, <laughs> try to spend 15 minutes, I guess, just going into every nook and cranny about what my team's supposed to do, let me know in the comment section. If you like this shortened five, five and a half minute uh, team builder, let me know what you think and I'll try to improve on that uh, moving forward. Now, um, I will catch you guys in a minute when I am back with the battle between me and Adam, coach of the Houston Soul Rockets. All right, we are back with the battle here, as you guys saw. If you guys watched the team build, you know the team that I brought. Just a quick summary. We have a uh, double dance, a thousand arrow sub Psyguard. We have a quiver dance, three attacks, uh, life for Brabambi. We have a physically defensive Chapelberry Mill Tank, Hardstone, SD, Kaboot, Topsuit, Swift Swim, uh, Z, Rain Dance, uh, Manaphy, and a uh, physically defensive bulk up Girder. And as you guys can see from my opponent's side, he has brought himself today. The Megalopony, the Toxapex, the Klefki, the Blacephalon, the Superior, and the Mesprit. So I definitely expect the top three did not expect that fat of an approach as the Keys and Toxapex, uh, and then Mesprit as well. But what this tells me is he's um, his plan is Hazard Stack to all hell and back, and then try to break me down with Lopony plus Superior and Blacephalon at the end. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play uh, to the best of my ability to not like let myself get hazard sack like that. So I'm gonna play on normal speed and then we'll just get into it. So he's gonna lead over two chains. The uh, Klefki just gonna set up a spike and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that turn. You know, you're gonna start hazard stacking. I'm gonna click bulk up and just see how much I can do. I go for drain punch here just to scout the damage and I see he's max HP, but he's also max special. He's also I think he was special attack invested if I remember the cal correctly. But I can switch into Manaphy right here, just, you know, take a free hit and then go for some damage. Or, you know, force a switch. So I go into my Miltank here because Miltank is my good pal. And Miltank has this move known as Stealth Darks, which is really good for chipping down stuff like Blacephalon, like Toxapex, and whatever. And as Toxapex comes in, I can click Seismic Toss, um, kind of calc out how much HP that is. Uh, and I can go for Thunder Wave, which is a beautiful move. And now, uh, the, uh... Klefki comes back in again, I can go for uh, Seismic Toss on that too, so that thing gets weakened down. I'm going to switch into Miyochi, my good pal, uh, just to try to set up a Quiver Dance here, as my opponent goes back into Fort Talks. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to try a Quiver Dance here, see how what I can do, and he goes for Haste. Very unfortunate what happened there, but at least I'm thinking, okay, I could have tried to hit part ground here if I made a prediction, but I kind of wanted my speed. So I'm going to take the opportunity to just set up my Quiver Dances, and... Uh, Adam capitalizes on it and clicks Thunder Waves. So now we both have one Paralyzed Mon, but I'm up 5-4, and the only difference uh, on our fields is a layer of spikes. So Lopunny's gonna go for return here and just flat knock out my, uh, flat knock out my good pal, Mio. But that leaves an opening for my good pal, <laughs> and my other good pal, all, all of my Pokemon are good pals, my, uh, Aeron 24 20 uh, the Zygarde, I'm going to go for a sub, uh, just to kind of scout what this Mesprit wants to do, and here I make a kind of a foolish mistake, I could have probably switched into Manaphy or something, but I go for a thousand arrows here just to scout the damage on the Mesprit, so Mesprit gets one kill on my Zygarde, and here's where I probably make the biggest misplay in my opinion of this entire game. I kind of like went a little bit fast into Manaphy, thinking like, hey, um, Manaphy is probably faster than this Mesprit, right, completely forgetting it literally just meant to outspeed. Um, it's meant to outspeed the uh, Lopony after a plus one, and obviously this Mesper is fast, so it goes for Thunderbolt and knocks me out, so that's why you see Mesper as the MVP over on Adam's side. And, um, I did not change the layout for this. Crap. Well, I mean, Miltank is also an MVP for this game, I can say that much right now. But, uh, Miltank uh, is just chilling here, doing what it does best, uh, being fat, taking hits, and drinking its own milk. And again, just being an obnoxious nuisance. So I'm gonna go for a seismic toss here on Fort Tox. Uh, he sets up a layer of T spike. I'm gonna go for another seismic toss. He gets fully paralyzed. Not okay, not yet. Uh, goes for <laughs> a recover. Goes into Lola. Okay, now this is where it gets good. So Lola comes in. Uh, goes for fake out on my melting. That's fine. I'm Gucci. I got my Chopperberry ready to go. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave real quick here and just slow down this Lopunny. 
because that's uh, what I felt was the best play. I'm gonna go for a Milk Drink here, just in case he misses. He gets fully paralyzed. I'm gonna go for a Seismic Toss here. Uh, he gets fully paralyzed. So, Mail Tank 1v1, a uh, Megalopony. And uh, I'm taking the opportunity here. He's scouting for Thick Fat, obviously. I get frozen. I thought instantly. So, my Mill Tank is going out of his way right now to just be a complete nuisance to Adam's team. So he goes for Thunderbolt, uh, I'm just taking the moment here to try to heal, gauge him damage. I, I don't kill him, which is actually more beneficial for me, because I can just sit here and heal up again. And he gets fully paralyzed, so Meltank takes out two Pokemon just like Mesprit did to me. And in comes Jester, the um, Blacephalon, goes for Flamethrower, 63%, burns me. I go for Thunder Wave, this thing's also slowed down. Everything on his team is paralyzed, bar the Superior. So I'm looking in a phenomenal position right now, like, I can't even be mad. So I think, I'm thinking, like, I'm gonna go into Girder right here. I am Guts, so if he gets paralyzed, maybe I can go for a knockoff or something. But he does not get paralyzed and knock out my Girder. So he gets a Beast Boost in Special Attack, and this is where I send him my Kabutops. I'm thinking, alright, cool. Uh, I still have a chance. It's very small, but I have a chance to win this game. So I'm gonna go for a Liquidation. Get a Crit as well. Uh, does 21% to the stock specs. Go for Stone Edge, does 37. This guy can just recover stall me, so I'm gonna have to go for an SD. And, uh... I do that, and my opponent gets paralyzed. So we're looking pretty good. I go for a uh, Stone Edge. He gets paralyzed again. Uh, I'm at 27%. I'm gonna go for a Liquidation, and I'm gonna slow this down real quick, because the situation in where I am right now, he might think I'm Sap Sipper on my Melty, or he might think I am Scrappy. Both options are very viable, but I think he would think that I would click Seismic Toss if Blacephalon uh, when Blacephalon was in against Miltank, if that was the case. So, I think he has systematically eliminated all the options and made me down to being, uh, Sap Zipper, which is the set that I am, uh, to beat Superior. So, if, uh, Superior, uh, comes in here, it cannot beat me 1v1, at least not with Miltank, but Blacephalon can. So, what I have to do to win here, essentially, is be a bit lucky, which this game has been very nice to me so far, so that's what kind of what I have to do. So, um, Superior comes in here on my Kabutops, and, uh, Kabutops was nimble, and uh, I'll explain right here because um, I was just kind of chilling, doing my own thing, you know, I was looking at when Superior came, I'm like, I mean, Leaf Storm has a chance to miss, right? I'm gonna just click Stone Edge. And um, I dodged the Leaf Storm and I hit the Stone Edge, so very lucky play, on, or not even a play, very lucky moment on me. I, I'm just gonna say right now. Yeah, <laughs> Adam won this game, but because I have Aqua Jet on this thing, and Blacephalon's paralyzed and all that stuff. I win this game, but Adam won it. But where he lost was he had HP Fire on his uh, Superior. Should have clicked that against my Kabutops. Not clicking HP Fire was his downfall. Of course, you get tilted when hacks happens, and I fully understand him. And I'm also going to say that Adam completely 110% deserved this win. But we take a 2 0 victory against Adam of the Houston Soul Rockets because of luck, chokes, and I don't really know what else to go by. I mean, Tom Z, the uh, week one MVP, uh, but it was only because Miltank was such a GOAT player. Paralyzed the, um, uh, paralyzed the 1v1, the uh, Lopany, making that not a threat in the late game. Paralyzed the Toxapex so that uh, Kabutops could actually beat it. Uh, paralyzed the Blacephalon, so I outsped and could go for Liquidation, but I went for Aquajet regardless. Uh, 1v1 the Mesprit, and also kind of like made it rougher for m making the Superior be the play, but overall I'm going to give them MVP to Miltank, but in kills, MVP was um, Kabutops, so it was 3 kills for Kabutops, 2 kills for Miltank, 1 kill for the uh, Robombi. So next week we're going to be taking on Danza uh, of the... Uh, Oh, there's three of those teams. Los Angeles, Nido Kings. 
So I hope you guys are excited for that game next week. But we're starting off the season 1-0 plus 2, even though we should have probably been like 0-1 minus 5 or something. But we take the wins that the game gives us. And little fun fact, if you stick around to the end, this game was played on Valentine's Day, so I took this as an official thing from Smogon that they love me and want me to stay. So we'll see how long that lasts, so stay with me here, uh, Smogon, and uh, I will catch you guys next week with another game, um, with a week two game against uh, Danza of the Token Minorities and the Los Angeles Nido King. Later!